Hey, what's up everyone? It's Justin from Long Beach Mushrooms. Uh, checking in today, we got we have a lot going on at the farm. So this is just gonna be another quick farm update, uh, walk walkthrough tour. But man, we've been you know troubleshooting, trying to figure stuff out. Um, but we got a lot going on and we're like right there, just ready to like turn the dial up a little bit. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd, I'd show you what's going on here. We've been swamped. We've been doing everything that we can to, to get this place up and running like it was before. But for all you who have been expanding your businesses, you know that with every time, with every uh, step forward, there's, there's just things to figure out. So we're in the things to figure out stage right now, but we also know that, you know, Everything that we want is gonna be right around the corner. First thing I wanna show you guys is we actually separated, uh, we have a front office on our new, in our new building or on our, uh, on our addition. And we actually are turning this into more incubation space. We need more incubation space because we're planning on growing a lot more mushrooms. And in the beginning, before things are like rolling through, we just, we have a stockpile of bags right now. Um, we also moved our culture and grain lab into this side. This is a lot cleaner. Uh, we don't have any production things going on over here. So we just wanted to separate it so that we have a really clean environment to work with. Small little flow hood and then our grain. Um, we wanted a cleaner environment to work with, first of all. So that's why we moved it to this side. Away from production, away from bag making, all that. It's all the way on the opposite side of the building. The other thing that we are doing over here is that uh, now that we have two labs, we don't have to compete for, for lab time. For instance, like sometimes we'll have, uh, you know, our autoclave will be finished and we'll have grain to inoculate. And there's also, um, there's also substrate bags that need to get inoculated. And we have to kind of play like this, this game of who gets to go in. It's almost like double dutch, like who gets to jump in now to get stuff done. You know, there's always like cloning things that we want to do and, there's just like, there's just too many times we were competing for lab space. So now we have two separate labs, one for a bag inoculation and then one over here for all the culture work and all our grain spawn work. So I think that works really well. Um, we're gonna walk in now to, it's gonna get kind of loud, but it'll be worth it because we get to show you the finished grow rooms today. So I don't know, if, I forget on the, last, on the last one if I talked about us moving away from grow tents. Uh, so we moved away from grow tents. We are now officially in insulated, insulated grow room panels. Let me go in here and I'll, I'll do a quick like pros and cons so far of our experience. And then, um, and then I'll show you around on, on what it looks like on the inside. So real quick, uh, let's go through the cons first because there's not that many actually. So the cons of doing insulated grow room panels are they're expensive. Um, they are, uh, like they took some expertise to put together. I actually didn't do it. I didn't put it together myself. I started to, and I quickly realized this was going to take me more time than I wanted it to take. So I hired a crew to put it together. Um, a con is that, you know what? Honestly, so far, that's all I got. <laughs> the grow rooms are bigger. So they're, uh, they're, I don't think they're harder to, to, to dial in. I think we're just, we're new to the process. So we're learning how to dial them in right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of cons. These things are great. Pros, first of all, uh, great at temperature control. We're running a three ton unit into, ducting a three ton unit into one of the rooms to see how it does. And man, it's, it's beautiful. It's doing a great job. Um, uh, another pro is that they're really, really sturdy, like really sturdy. So the second level, like the, we're actually able to put storage up there. So we're just not nothing, nothing big, but we're able to store like some of the extra parts from putting the grow room together, extra caulking, and we can just set things up there pretty easily. Um, another pro is that having the big rooms uh, allow us to roll carts in and out and man, they're like that's that alone is is worth the investment because being able to roll carts in and out saves so much time with labor, um, makes our efficient our, our harvest so much more efficient. So I just ordered I actually just ordered forty more racks with with casters because we're I'm just sold like this is the way to go. So we have that coming. We actually have those those uh, those racks coming tomorrow. Um, another pro is they're really easy to clean. 
Uh, another pro is they look nice. Um, we have these awesome doors that I'll show you. We, we splurged on the doors a little bit. The doors are pretty expensive, but we splurged on the doors. Um, again, they're pretty cost effective. Uh, a buddy of mine said that he uh, budgeted it out all the all the materials he would have needed to, to make grow rooms with standard construction and the insulated grow room panels were actually cheaper than doing standard construction at least where we're at so that's a huge pro you know they're, they're cheaper um they can be torn apart and taken i mean it'll take a lot of work to tear them apart but you can definitely tear them apart and take them if you if you're going somewhere else um i think the only con i had was cutting out the freaking six inch holes to, to put to drop fans and ducts in that it's not complete yet we still have other things to do but that was a pain in the butt to, to cut through all that foam but anyways i'm gonna take you into the grow rooms now let you let you see what we got so our grow rooms are combined together about 900 square feet the really really cool thing that we have are these barn style doors so they just slide slide open Ugh and they seal really, really tight. The reason why we opted with the barn style doors is because our hallway here is really narrow. And if we had anything swinging in or out, it would have really uh, been hard to maneuver around. So we have these giant barn sliding doors. Again, they seal really well. Um, this grow room has already been harvested, but like, it's just beautiful in here. And when the walls are dirty, you just gotta wipe them down. It's really nice. We can bring, we bring in our pressure washer in here do a light um, light soap rinse and then we just clean everything out uh, we're gonna have to clean that fan humidifier is here we just made one out of a, a rain barrel um, but yeah lights up top it's just a really really easy way to grow a lot of mushrooms Th this room is still all on plastic carts um, this is the grow room that we first filled out it's really really cold in here and we just had that three ton unit running um, and it's cold in here you know the mushrooms are loving it these are all probably third flushes but you know these elm oysters are loving it down here and and all that so this tent will actually get or this i keep calling them tents because i'm so used to using tents this grow room is actually going to get flipped on saturday so we'll remove everything that's left we'll harvest anything that's left in here we'll remove it and then it's going to go through its first like full wash down. We haven't washed these rooms yet. This is the first grow that, I mean, this is the first time we put blocks in here to grow stuff out. So we're going to wash these rooms. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. We have not a ton of things, but some, some baby blues pinning, some lion's mane still pinning. But yeah, this room is pretty much done. And again, it's lipless. It's the best part. Transitionless. In and out means we can roll racks in here. And I'll show you what I mean when we go to the other grow room. So this other grow room is not does not have an air conditioner blowing into it yet, but it probably will really, really soon. There you go. Boom. Humidifier is doing his job. We just kind of, we were going to buy a, a better, I don't know. We were debating on whether to get a high pressure system or not. And we settled on just sticking with the hydrofoggers, like at least for now. And they're, they're working out great, so. We got blocks in here. Things are pinning. We got some pinks, some golds. I don't know how I feel about the black bags yet, but we have some shiitake over here. And again, these are on, so these are on casters. You can roll them around. Um, these are still plastic shelving, but we're gonna get those out soon. Uh, yeah, dude. Walking through. Some lion's mane, some piapino. Um, yeah, a lot more lines made down here. It's hard to show. There you go, lines made down here. But anyways, we are still dialing it in. It's not perfect yet. We're still figuring out how much air to exchange. We're still figuring out uh, humidity controls and all that. But for the most part, it's really, really good. Don't mind the blocks behind me. Those are that's spent blocks that we need to get rid of. And then these doors, like this door, we just, we haven't opened as much because this is the second grow room we filled. So everything around it is still really tight. Um, but once we start opening and closing it a lot, then it kind of eases up. All, all, the, all the seals ease up and it's a lot easier to roll in and out. That is the grow room, man. Um, we're excited for it because there's 
like I said, almost a thousand square feet of grow space. The difference between using these and the tents, the tents are like, they're great to start up. I love the tent system. I will encourage everybody who's starting to use tents. Um, I have no bad feelings about using tents at all, except for the fact that, you know, at a certain point, at a certain point we need to grow. There's actually still a tent up there. At a certain point we needed to just, you know, uh, grow our operation a little bit. Um, but tents are great. Where was I going? Oh, uh, the bad thing about tents is like, you know, each tent needs its own humidifier, its own fan, all that stuff. Anyways, like the, even though with the tents we had X amount of, X amount of grow room space, a lot of it was taken up with how we had to configure it. With these big old rooms though, we're going to be so much more efficient. We're looking at 1,200 to 1,500 pounds a week. Um, I think I'm undershooting myself a little bit. I think we can go a little bit more, but that's that's where we're at. This is the top, the top deck of the grow rooms. It's so sturdy. Uh, the people that put it together said they do tests and they actually can drive a car across this. That's how sturdy it is. And I gotta tell you, like we walk on here all the time to to do whatever we need to do, and it's um yeah, it's really really sturdy. Uh, even more sturdy than the standard construction that I have next door. So that's great yeah the cool thing these are these are on the outside they're metal so so you can stick magnets onto here we're actually going to put up our whiteboard and our team calendar on it uh pretty soon whiteboard is to to take inventory of what blocks are in there calendar is to uh you know ask for days off and stuff but yeah anyways those are insulated grow room panels if you are interested in insulated grow room panels go ahead and, and you have questions go ahead and message us um you know, we went through the process uh, relatively recently, and I can tell you all the things to that, you know, all the things that I've learned from. Um, but for the most part, it was a really, really easy, uh, seamless thing to get done. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. That's another, you know, check, check box marked off of how I want this farm to eventually become. We still have work to do. Um, we are going to be uh, uh, fine-tuning our both of our lab spaces a little bit. We are going to be uh, upgrading our pasteurization, our steam system. Um, we are going to be adding a lot of rolling racks. Like I said, I ordered I ordered ten. I have ten rolling racks um, that we need to put together, and then I just ordered forty more. So we'll get we'll have fifty rolling racks total, and and I anticipate us needing probably closer to like. I don't know, I think I need like another 20 rolling racks and I think even more, I don't know yet. You gotta do those calculations again. But anyways, rolling racks coming in, that's coming in. Uh, I gotta build a walk-in. I'm gonna do a, a cool bot walk-in with, with uh, rigid foam panels. So that's happening. We got a lot going on at this farm right now. And it's um, it's exciting because we're, we're leveling up our operation. Uh, it is a little bit scary because during this time, our production has slowed down quite a bit. You know, there's just a lot of things to take care of and there are things going wrong that aren't getting our, our full attention because we're also focused on expanding. But a, a message that I would like to deliver, you know, for whoever wants to hear, but mostly for myself is like, sometimes it's worth it to just, just take the risk, jump in, take the risk and then uh, figure it out from there. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just figuring it out as I go, um, but yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, video give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel. If there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Uh, we got big things coming, so stay tuned. All right, y'all. Peace.